Hi, I'm James Dunn. Welcome to the Inside Network. Uh, Northleaf is a management controlled business headquartered in Canada focused on three private mid-market asset classes, private equity, private credit, infrastructure. We've got 160 people across eight offices in North America, Western Europe, uh, and Australia. Really, our goal is inve investing capital on behalf of over 200 institutional and uh, non-institutional clients in those asset classes, finding the best relative value and delivering high, consistent, stable returns. Take us through the Northleaf offering here in the Australian market. So all three asset classes invest within uh, Australia. So we've got private credit investments here, private equity investments. Uh, we've actually got a team of three infrastructure uh, investors here uh, doing renewable and other type of direct equity control investments. Uh, it's an incredibly attractive market for us. We're continuing to grow, so adding people on the ground across those asset classes, uh, and also continue to raise capital, seeing really good opportunities with investors across both institutional and non-institutional channel to take advantage of the global strategies that we bring, not just investing here in Australia, but bringing capital uh, solutions across North America and Western Europe as well. You're here in Australia. How does the private credit market look to you? So the Australian private credit market is really interesting. Um, you've historically had very strong banks, uh, and as we've seen with other markets, you've seen those banks start to recede and institutional capital start to come in. Most importantly, we've seen companies start to recognize the value that comes from private uh, institutional capital, flexibility, uh, and ultimately attractive partnership where we see what they're trying to do with their business, and we're really trying to structure our capital around a solution uh, that helps facilitate that. Uh, within Australia, there's a number of institutional uh, clients that we have on the private equity side, as well as companies on the specialty finance side uh, that we're working with to help finance their businesses uh, to really achieve their business models. Do you see any quirks in the Australian capital markets that are, that are quite unique to Australia? Not necessarily unique, but I would say it's a very bank-heavy market. You've got a very well-banked sector, similar to actually what we see in Canada and what we see in the Nordics. Uh, that leaves a little bit less room for institutional capital, uh, but that dynamic is changing. I think people have seen the retrenchment of banks across the global markets. Uh, it's something that's happened slower here in Australia, but we continue to see that opportunity opening up for private institutions uh, to invest in businesses and assets locally here, uh, and we see it as a tremendous market opportunity for us. What are the major current trends that are driving the private credit market around the world? Yeah, I mean, there's been just a tectonic shift in terms of capital, shifting from public markets to private markets. You've seen that in terms of the growth of private equity, infrastructure, private credit. Really, the opportunity for value creation in the private markets, uh, in, our, in our view, is now superseding what we can see in the public markets in terms of the ability for both debt and equity to create value for investors. Uh, we've also seen an enormous amount of demand from borrowers for the type of flexible capital that comes from private investments. Uh, giving managers the ability to think about business models over years or even decades instead of thinking quarter to quarter. Uh, and that flexibility, in our view, uh, creates an enormous amount of value for shareholders. The COVID pandemic has been a stress test for every asset class, every investment strategy. How did private credit hold up? So across our portfolio, 85% of our borrowers were either stable or grew during the COVID pandemic. A couple reasons for that. Uh, when we think about private credit, we're targeting businesses uh, with stable fundamental demand, generally driven by their contractual protections in the revenue model, or what we think of as sticky products and services. Uh, things like healthcare or vet care providers, where ultimately they're recession resilient. And even during the COVID pandemic, they were able to continue to generate stable, if not growing revenues. Uh, the second thing is these are businesses with flexible capital structures. So they, even though the business models may have been put under pressure, uh, the fundamental relationship between the lender and the borrower meant that you're able to have a discussion to facilitate continued stability during a period of heightened volatility. David, the markets have finally moved on from COVID, hopefully. However, rising inflation and increased public market volatility remain very real risks. How does that play into private credit attributes? What we've seen during any period of market dislocation, whether that's the global financial crisis, energy challenges, uh, COVID, 
is that those points of dislocation are points of advantage for private markets. It's when we can continue to price uh, and provide capital to businesses, but at heightened levels of return for our investors uh, and with better protections. And so ultimately, during those periods, public markets generally seize up. It's not possible to tap into either the public markets from an equity or debt standpoint. And so borrowers come increasing the private markets. We're able to provide them with solutions um, for capital to continue to facilitate their growth, uh, but ultimately at good, attractive, relative value for our investors alone. Across the areas in which Northleaf invests, what, what, what are the areas you're finding most exciting in the markets at the moment? Yeah, specialty finance is an area where we've got a dedicated team. This is where we're investing in things like music royalties, uh, co commercial and consumer litigation, uh, factoring. I actually met with a couple CEOs here in Melbourne and in Sydney on the factoring side. Uh, business models that have high growth, tons of diversification, really stable uh, underlying performance. Uh, and in Australia, you don't have a banking sector that supports those types of businesses provides them with the type of capital to grow. So an enormous opportunity for us to really facilitate that growth and generate good returns for our investors. What are the benefits for private market firms that have an investment platform with multiple strategies as opposed to single strategy firms? So Northleaf just plays in the mid-market uh, and that it has an enormous advantage across all the private equity, private credit and infrastructure. Uh, it means we can talk to investors across the value that we're seeing in each of those markets. It means we can leverage the synergies that exist between our platform. We have a meeting every week to go through our uh, pipeline and the number of touch points between different market participants, different companies, different investment owners within our business uh, creates lots of value for our investors. Uh, but ultimately, having a platform creates stability. It has higher levels of risk control, higher levels of corporate oversight, better abilities to manage ESG policies and some of the things that are fundamentally important to our investors when they think about their investments and their capital. David, when it all boils down to it, what do you think really differentiates Northleaf from other private credit managers? Yeah, I guess two key factors. One, we've built a global platform. So we've got 30 people across four offices investing in North America, Western Europe and Australia very unique within the private markets to have that type of infrastructure providing global exposure for investors. Uh, the second thing is our origination strategy. We have three discrete channels to origination that enables us to see over 600 transactions uh, ultimately being highly selective in the portfolios that we invest, uh, really only investing in less than 5% of the deals that we see. And ultimately investors should be very critical about the type of origination strategy uh, that they see within their private credit manager. David Ross, Managing Director of Northleaf Capital, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thanks for having me.